Coastal Shoring wants to ensure our customers have all the information necessary to get their home elevation funded through the proper channels. I help them by bringing in a, a contract um, and we, we fill out a VPA, which is a voluntary participation uh, agreement, and we fill out a W-9 form, uh, which proves that they're a citizen, and then we fill out a power of attorney. So we have mitigation analysts that are in our office and they do all the paperwork and as long as they fill out that power of attorney, we're actually being able to talk on behalf of their homeowner with the mitigation analyst, so we can do everything for them. They still will have to come in once the, a grant is awarded through HMGP and sign paperwork. Grant funds are available up to $160,000. You may receive $30,000 from the Road Home Program, $30,000 from ICC funds, and $100,000 from HMGP. Coastal Shoring can help you with all the paperwork to get these funds and avoid additional out-of-pocket expenses. If a homeowner has already spent the $30,000 received from the Road Home Program, Coastal Shoring offers other options for completing the home elevation. If they've already spent the $30,000, um, they have two options. Either they can repay the $30,000 or they can get a promissory note. Okay, and a promissory note um, depending on what they're capable of is uh, usually $100 to $500 a month, whatever they can afford. It's, it's paid back to Coastal because the 30000 is taken from their grant. So in other words, if their elevation contract is for 130000 then the 30000 of course, needs to be shown that they're going to be paying it back, and then it it's directly takes off the top of the grant amount that they're awarded on it. So it's being paid back to Coastal for the job. If they've already declined the $30,000, there is an appeal process that, that the homeowner and our mitigation analyst in our office can actually get with their mitigation analyst and appeal through Road Home the $30,000 back. And they opened that back up about two months ago. They weren't doing it uh, six months ago, but now they started doing it back. So there is an appeal process. Doesn't, matter, doesn't mean that you will get the $30,000, but if, they, if the appeal is awarded, then it, it'll go towards their elevation grant. There also is another program through which homeowners may receive funds for home elevation. The Severe Repetitive Loss Program, or SRL, includes homes that have sustained two losses within 10 years with the combined value of building damages only equal to or exceeding the fair market value of the home. The Severe Repetitive Loss List also includes homeowners who have had four claims of loss over $5,000 each since 1978, including the building and its contents. For homeowners to qualify for the SRL program, their addresses must appear on the FEMA SRL list. If you are not on this list, call Coastal Shoring. We can assist you through the proper channels so that you may be considered for inclusion on the FEMA Severe Repetitive Loss list. The grant process can take up to six months and in some cases up to a year or more. Patience is important during this process while you are waiting for your grant funds to be issued. After all paperwork is complete and an APO or approval order is issued, a check is issued in the name of Coastal Shoring and the homeowner. At this time, the planning and permit process takes about two weeks. The home elevation is about 45 days. You really want to go with an elevation contractor that has experience. Coastal Shoring's had over 200 uh, elevations completed and we've had a very good track record. At Coastal Shoring, we truly want the best for our community. We believe we are the best and have the best staff. Partner with Coastal Shoring for your home elevation process. We have the experience and equipment necessary to assure you a quality home elevation project.